Thank you, Houston. Welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number four, guys. I am glad you're here. You know, every time I walk into my studio, I sit down and I think, well, what am I going to do today? Because I have, we have so many options. And this painting journey that I have been on has taken me to some, some wonderful places. And uh, today I thought, you know, I haven't played with my spinny thing <laughs> in a while. So I figured I'd do a little spinny thing. And um, I also haven't done a straight pour in a while. And I was chatting with Gina DeLuca the other day, who is the queen of straight pours. And I thought, Kathleen, come on into your studio and do a ring pour on your spinny thing with some monochromatic colors because uh, I'm a monochromatic kind of girl. So we are working on a 12 by 12, 16 inch reuse canvas. Um, I scraped this yesterday. I knew immediately that I wasn't pleased and put my drippings into a slop bucket and we'll reuse them. And so this has been drying for 24 hours. Our base coat is in this cup right here. It's a beautiful, beautiful blue. That is a combination of creative inspirations. Payne's gray. I started out with this and then I added to it some of the creative inspirations and the pearl essence. This is a beautiful, beautiful paint. Stirred those two paints up real good then added my pouring medium. Pouring medium today, because I needed my paints thicker, is a little more Floetrol, a squirt of GAC 800, a squirt of Liquitex pouring medium in all my paints, and then some Oatrol. Oatrol is the European version of our Floetrol. And it's thicker than our Floetrol. And I needed my paints to be thicker. Now, the only ones I really needed to add a decent amount of the Oatra to are my fluid paints. My heavier body paints, which I'll show you here in a second, just got a little extra paint, little extra paint to thicken them up. So we have lots of options. It's all about consistency, guys. Um, you can paint with paint and water. A lot of people do. Paint and Floetrol. Um, paint and just gack. You just got to get the good consistency. The reason why we add these different products is because each of them do different things. GAC 800 helps with cracking and crazing. Floetrol uh, is self-leveling and helps with extending your work time. Liquitex pouring medium has all of those things in it. So I use what I use because it's been good to me and it works. Do I understand the science behind it? Most certainly not. <laughs> I should have paid better attention in science class, which I loved, but uh, I wasn't super good at it. <laughs> so, um, base coat is the Pearl Essence and the Payne's Gray. Right here in this cup, we have Golden Fluids in the Air Adjustment Pearl. This got a little more Oatrol because it's a fluid paint and I needed to thicken it up. This right here is Golden Fluids in the Iridescent Silver. Got a little more Oatrol to thicken it up because it's a fluid paint. Right here is Decoart Metallics. That's their ster Sterling Silver. Now this is a medium to heavy body paint. So it did not need any Oatrol because it was already <laughs> thick. And I added my Floetrol, my GAC 800 to it and my Liquitex pouring medium. The consistency is it leaves kind of a blob on a blob on a blob. It's very, very thick. At least it's thick for this girl. <laughs> right here is a yummy, yummy color, and I love the way it plays with silver. That is Deco Art Metallics, and that is their pewter. Deco Art is one of our wonderful sponsors at the Fluid Art Experience, and guys, they have been so good to us. They always support us, they promote us, 
And uh, I'm just crazy about them and their organization, their paints, and just the way they treat people. Good, good people there at Deco Art. That's a pretty color. I added that at the last minute because I have it, and I think I've only used it once. That is Deco Art Metallics, and that is their sapphire. All these paints will also be listed in the description box, guys, for you to uh, reference. Look at that creamy, yummy goodness. Right here is Golden Fluids in the Payne's Gray. That got some of the Oetrol because it's a fluid paint and we needed to thicken it up. This right here is Lucas Krill Studio Acrylics. It's their Iron Oxide Black. Did not get any Otrol because this is thick and it's a yummy, yummy paint. So I'm going to layer my cup. I'm going to put a little puddle of paint down with my base coat. I'm going to pour my cup in there to try to stay as straight without jiggling as possible. Maybe a little jiggle at the end. And then if need be, we'll use this as our flow extender. Why do we put a flow extender down? Because if we don't, the paint rolls over itself rather than flow across. So I think that's it. I'm here to have some fun. So I'm going to put some fun music on for me. Try to find some fun music for you guys. Let's put some tunes on. Let's get busy. Your breath on my chest, so calm. 